For over four months, the Federal Medical Center, Lokoja, has been shut down after it came under attack by livid youth after news broke out that a woman was left unattended during labor. Since the lockdown, the management of the hospital have not been able to brief the public on the reasons why it's not offering any services. This silence may have sparked up this protest by the youth who are demanding for the removal of the CMD. How would you come to a federal medical center and they will tell you to go outside and buy drugs? Is it normal? Alabi is frustrating the effort of Mr. President. All we are saying is that the, our voice should be heard. The federal government, the Ministry of Health, should bring for us an MD, an MD that will listen to us. At this very moment, on behalf of Kogi Youth, the vulnerable women, we are, this, we are declaring Alabi personal non grata. The youth were attended to by one of the governor's aides who tried to calm their nerves. I want to assure you that your voice has been heard. I want to assure you that the governor of Kogi State, His Excellency al Yahya Adoda Bello, is peaceful and is resolute to make sure that all the earnings of youth come into place. I want you guys to be rest assured that the Kogi State government, the federal government, definitely will head to your yearning. All efforts to speak with the management proved abortive, but the Nigerian Medical Association wants the medical center opened. The enemy position in this state is that the hospital should be reopened so that medical services can be delivered to the people of the state. The hospital has been closed for a long time, for God's sake. And the citizens are not the only ones suffering it. Even the staffs of the hospital are also suffering it. The hospital itself is now a shadow of itself. So we are happy that the minister has come and has directed that the hospital should be reopened. It's still not clear if the hospital will be opening for services soon, but residents are appealing to the parties involved to give peace a chance and make healthcare available for the people.